Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So as you can see, we got everything repaired from the last uh, time we were on here. And if we have a look at the mech bays, the only one thing I changed on my mechs was in the bushwhacker here. We put in the, the uh, pirate TC, which gives us a plus three accuracy with ranged weapons. So hopefully that's going to give us greater accuracy with our Thunderbolts and our ER large laser. Um, because we are going to be going up against clan mechs again in this episode. So we're going to go to contracts and we're going to jump right in right away. Uh, we're going to do settling a grudge today. Um, it's a two skull, so we might have to bail out of this depending on what happens. But basically we're supposed to find a uh, fire mandrill lance and light it up. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to go full salvage since we are going against the clans and accept this. And we'll deploy our standard lance and get this sucker done. Oh, good. So, I bet you we're up against two lances here. Uh, usually they get reinforcements from the hill up here, so... Yeah, we'll have to see what happens. Um, let's just push these guys straight in. I want to try to do what we've done in the past. Uh, and that is get up and over to this side here, shielding us from anybody coming up this way. Forcing them to come down and engage us. Hopefully by the time we've done that, Roger. we can take out the lance ahead of us. And be prepared for the second lance to come in. Yep. I think also too, it's really going to depend on uh, what we're up against here. Now no one's moving there. So I'm kind of concerned about that. But we'll find out what we're up against soon enough. So there's a heavy on their side somewhere. Or somebody who's reserved, that is. Find out in a second here. Enemy yeah. 55 tonner. This guy's off the map, looks like. Huh. Full Gotta get up here fast, I think. Gotta establish ourselves off to the left here. Um, not much we can do. We're going to reserve back to turn one. Go. Alright, recall. Let's do your job here. Let's get in so we can spot Double this guy. Let's go. So what do we got here? Whoa, full lance right in there. What do we got here? Fire starter, fire starter, fire starter, wonderful. Kintaro. All right, this guy's an overheater. He overheats himself pretty quickly. And these are the standard Goss loadout ones. So we're going to have to get these guys quickly. Chance to hit on, is the same on all these guys. How much armor does this guy have? 640. Well, let's pew pew this guy. All right, so start. Only because he has more armor. That's the only reason. Another 55 tonner. Yeah, we gotta get over there fast, I think. So pylon, same idea. Let's get into here. Uh, we can get here. Full speed, no target. Which I think will help. I'm gonna pew pew this guy, leave the boomstick off for now. And eh, no tag. I'll make sure we turn that boomstick back on. 70 tonner. At least they're only firing on the guys they've got eyes on. Um, before we forget, let's turn the boomstick back on because we will need that next turn and I don't want to forget about that. Uh, get into here. It should block us partially from the guys up on the hill. 64% on that guy. 64. Well, let's target this guy. Maybe we get lucky, maybe we don't. Oh, yeah!
Okay, so that's the Gauss Rifle gone, I think. So if we can strip the Gauss Rifles off these guys, there's one gone. Yeah. Okay. I think we managed to survive most of the damage from that. Uh, Hickory now. Let's make sure you're safe, girl. Let's make sure you're safe. Let's move to a position where we can see that fire starter again. Uh, let's see what our TC is giving us. Actually pretty good. Let's leave this ER off for now. We don't necessarily need it. Let's just lob a couple of these guys on them. One hit, two hit. Nice. He's going to go twice, so not much we can do about that. Same with the other lights, which is why I want to get our melee mechs on them as soon as possible. 35 tonner. Okay, so that's probably a white. We faced these guys before. They got super high evasion, so it's probably good that he's over there now and not down here. This will give us a chance to kill these guys down here. Kentaro is kind of scary at the beginning. Then after a couple of turns, he just doesn't have the firepower anymore. Because he's overheated, right? Not sure how that's going to be on a clan mech, but I know that's how it is on a uh, Inner Sphere version. Here comes those uh, Gauss Rifles. Shooting against the right guy. Here comes the other one. Now these guys are going to get to go again. Then we're going to come after their their uh, right sides with the two melee mechs. So here they go again. So they got the 35 tonner up here that can go. Looks like their fire starters are trying to start, stop us from flanking. It's a smart move, but we can move farther than them and we can hit harder than them, so they're not going to be stopping too much of us. They're just getting in close enough for us to be able to pummel them really well. Damn. Alright, she's got to move first. This guy's just got flamers left. Looks like he's shooting his own guy in the back there. Yeah. Okay, Hickory, you got to go first. Got to deal with the guys down here first. Um, like this. Sorry it took me so long. I gotta think about this here for a second. So we're gonna target this Kentaro. Go all out on him. It's a good chance to take a really good shot at him. We could do an offensive push and try and CT him, but I'm gonna take the better chances to hit. Okay, that's good. And he's unsteady. It gives us gives the Zeus a chance to really pummel the crap out of him. Wow. Okay. Ready for orders. You're up first, buddy. Uh, we need to get you on this side. Here, let's do this. Position See if we can take that Gauss rifle. Nope. Oh, yep, we did. Nicely done. Torso gone. Solid connection on that one. Sure was. Gonna make these guys pay for being down here. 55 tonner. Just hang in there, girl. Another turn or so and we're gonna be off this. Uh, you'll be down in here and you won't have to worry about them. That's all you've got? 
Just don't. Don't say things like that. Please, just don't say things like that. Arm. Damn it. Oh, you missed with both. Where'd you hit torso? Probably. Yeah, you would. It was a torso hit. Nice one, though. That could be another one of those um, Jager mechs, but it's 70 tons, unlikely. They got two 70 tonners up there? Oh, it's a Nova Cat. That guy is, anyway. Yeah, we gotta kill these guys down here fast. Can't move far enough. Let's get into the trees at least. Let's see what we can do on this guy. See if we can pull him down or at least do some heavy damage to him. Okay, nice. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Somebody's not having a good day. Not bad. Damn it. You gotta get out of there, girl. I hate these guys. Yeah, so do I. That's a fire starter coming in. Hopefully it's the Goss Rifle one. Nope. We'll take the 17 instead of the Flamers. That's good. Damage minimal. Damn it. It's bad. That's bad. Okay, this guy's going to melee too. Stay standing, please. Okay, good. Aye, aye. All right, we can get to someplace safe now, relatively. Yeah, right here. Yeah, we don't have an offensive push left, but we'll fire on this guy. Hopefully we get a knockdown on him. Come on, knock him down, knock him down. Yes! Got past the armor. Okay. Um, Got to deal with Goss Rifle Dan here. I'm going to leave that to Pylon, I think. So it's coming this way. Hopefully we can at least get that torso. Is that a leg hit? Yeah. Didn't get the arm. All right, what do we want to do, guys? <sighs> yeah, I think it's the Kentaro. There we go. Sure is. Now we just got to figure out how far we can go with our uh, Zeus here. We're still in heavy damage range. Yeah, we're doing okay. Left arm is dropping though. It's almost down to half.
At least they're spreading it around. That's a good thing. Okay, a good thing. Um, crap. Kind of stuck. I can't actually get. To where I want to be. Oh, this is further down the hill. Probably a little bit more protection. Ah, it's so hard to tell. Mm, they can probably still see me from there, but I'm figuring I can't. I got to get my stability back. We don't have vigilance, so moving here is probably the best bet. Something like this. And then with these guys out of the way next turn, we should be able to move. So this guy, better chance to hit. Let's go on this guy. Okay, he's going down. Okay, I think we're going to kill Goss Rifle Dan here on the ground. Let's just back up over here. This guy's still got his Goss Rifle. Going to go for the torso here and fire. Okay, there we go. Goss Rifle gone. These guys aren't so bad with no Goss Rifles. I mean, I hate the fact that they got the flamers, but... We can kill them relatively easily now, so that's such a big deal. Uh, recoil. Let's come back here, please, and stop this guy. Come on, finish him up, buddy. Thank you. I don't know how greedy I want to get with Pylon, but we'll see where this guy moves. I gotta get the Zeus back around this corner as fast as I can. Oh, he's coming this way, is he? That's fine. We're gonna move down in the water in the next turn. Okay, I want this guy gone, please, if you can. Don't move too far out there. Come on. Wow, that was a lot of misses. Let's hope I'm not unsteady after this attack. I think I'm partially covered too with the trees and stuff here and down in this valley. I think there's a they're gonna have a minus for me being partially in cover. At least it looks that way. Barely got hit there. So those are probably like Ultra 2s, I'm thinking. Armor yeah, I know. We got lots of armor low. How far can we get here? God, I can't do that. Um... What do we want to do here, guys? That's my full sprint. Got to go before a lot of them. Um, let's do this. Change sides. Target this guy. If we can get rid of him here. Okay, good. Now we can take out the other guy in the next turn. And this will mean I'll be able to go before one of their heavy mechs. Allowing me to get out of the way here. Going against the wrong guy, buddy. Damage is minor, Commander. 
Okay, here comes that white. Yeah, they're trying to finally saying we need eyes on. You better get up there. We've lost our first lance. Yeah. It's okay, baby. You're moving first. You're moving first, girl. Don't worry. Let's get you down here. Um, can we use the ER? Yeah, we can. Might as well. Fire all three. Okay, I'm on it. Well, after the, all, all that, it wasn't enough. Oh, wait a minute. May knock him out here. Oh, he bailed. Even better. Very unlike clan pilots, but... And then there was four. Receiving you. Um... Just for now, buddy. There's a hill here that we can hide behind for now. I want you to watch Hickory, please. Okay, they got one guy to shoot against me, then I can move. They can't really see me anyway. So that worked out for the better. Gotta get a supercharger in this Atlas, man. Or the Zeus, I mean. Okay. Let's let them come to us. That white will be our first target, obviously. Here he comes. Aye, aye. Understood. Bad chances to hit, but we are going to fire. Yeah, can't win them all. Negative damage. Yeah. Good to go. Stay down beyond this hill for now. Once he gets to a certain range, it's going to be duck season. Or white season. Okay, these guys are getting down. Okay, here he comes. Is he within melee range though? Not really. Five tonner, he's up there now, so let's reserve right back to turn one. Waiting for the shot. So the Zeus is gonna move up, take a look at that guy, see if I can get some melee attacks on him. If I can, we're gonna go after him right away. I can. Um I should try and move as far as possible. So let's get up to here. Really low chance to hit. But we've got lots of ammo, so let's just take it all. We might get lucky. Okay, it's a good start. Orders. Receiving. Neither of these guys can get right on them. So let's give them something to shoot for. And we'll fire on this guy. I want to make sure both of these guys are on this side. Uh, where can we shoot them from? Right here. Um, lots of boonstick ammo. We'll just fire it all. Okay. Got 12 Thunderbolts left, eh? Let's hang on to those. It's only six turns of firing. We're just going to fire the ER large. Oh, 
It's okay. It's all right. Yep. He's got good jump. It's not going to save him, though. Stormcrow. I think we've got parts of a Stormcrow somewhere. I think. Not 100% sure, but I think. Wow, that's a pretty low chance to hit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you did. That's all right. Yeah, we got lots of ammo. Really open for that tag to hit. Damn it. I'm here. Gonna need you back in the battle here in a minute, girl. Plus I don't want this guy flanking you. Look at that evasion on this guy. A couple of good punches will strip that, or at least it should. Alright, starting with the pew pew on this guy. That was one torso, so a little bit down, but not much. Large pulses in that arm. Let's see what he does. Not far enough, buddy. Wow. Damn it. Weapon system down. Yeah. Yeah. Negative damage. I hate these guys. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? Come on. We're just starting the fight, dude. You're backing up. Yeah. What can I do, you fool? Just starting the fight. Where are you going? Engage. Come on, finish him up, buddy. Yeah. Failed to connect. It's wrecking balls, man. Aye, aye. I hope you kill this guy, Hickory. I really do. Get some evasion, some stability back, thunderbolts, fire. Thank you. Nice shooting, girl. Tit for tat, that's how it works in this game. Two Ultra Fives, LB5. Oh, what is that? Okay, we got our back up here. So this guy is two large pulses, LB5X, lots of armor. I 
Ultra fives in each arm, if I'm not mistaken. This will be the LB. Where's the... Uh, oh, large pulse in each arm, two Ultra fives, LB in this torso. Okay. And Jaeger Mac 2C, which we faced before, got very little armor. So he's not so bad. Medium heavy lasers and Alpha Strike worry me, though. Um... Got to get in the trees back here. Uh, what's our chance to hit this guy? Sixty-four, fifty-seven, sixty-four. So let's do Warlord, and let's go after the Nova Cat. I think. Start whittling this guy down. So we're gonna fire here. Okay, that's good. Now, how aggressive do we want to be? I think the answer is going to be not very. Although that guy is unsteady now. I'm here. Position confirmed. Let's push it. 75% chance. Let's fire. Nice. Still past both stability checks, but I think we can knock him down. That leg's almost gone. Um, you're not really a reliable laser guy, but... going to do this. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it. We're going to hit these guys hard. Going to do an offensive push on you. Going to try and target this leg, fire everything. Damn it. Still stable. We won't be after this though. Won't be after this. We're just going to fire normally. I'm not going to bother uh, taking a called shot in this one. I don't want to miss. Targeting for an okay, he's going down. Which means I'll get to go before him again. Oh, nice shooting. Ouch. Yeah, I gotta change size. Oh, that guy didn't even move. He's like meat, man. He is meat. Switching sides now. Okay, guys, what are we doing? We're gonna go for the headshot, kill him, or leg him, torso him. It's a tough choice. Leg is what? 37, 52, 5, 72% chance. We don't quite have enough juice to kill him in the CT. I mean, we could have everything hit there, but chance of that happening is pretty low. If we shoot for this leg, chances are we're taking this arm off, but... Um, I'm going to go for a headshot. Maybe we get lucky. Oh, we got a head hit. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Didn't even get one leg hit on that. Wish I had machine guns now. They're not even firing everything. That's the thing. If they were firing everything, What's up, boss? they might actually be dangerous. But they're just not firing everything. Well, that guy's shooting pretty good. He's got the right idea. Commander. 
Commander. I know this guy's not the threat right now, but he's barely got any armor, so it's a reasonable choice to uh, try and remove him before uh, he's able to do more damage. Wow, back's almost gone here. Standing by. What if we just don't move? 70% chance. That's pretty darn good. Let's take it. Soften that guy up a little bit. It's not going to save you, dude. Come out of those woods, buddy. Must be in pain. He's taking half of his health. In damage to the head, so. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Okay. Once again, I don't want both these guys shooting at me before the turn. So we're going to fire at this guy. Take it straight out. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Question is, who gets what now? I think the uh, Nova Cat's going to get Wol uh, the Wolverine. So Pylon's going to take him. Oh no! Ugh, I'm hit. Yeah, I saw that. I'm losing weapon systems. Yeah, I know. You're going first. On my way. Wow, I didn't even. I should have thought of that. That's my completely my fault. Should have moved. I was just looking for the better chance to hit. Damn it! I hit. It's okay, girl. That's my fault completely. Yeah, you can kill this guy for me, please. On the move. Targeting for physical attack. Come on, CT him. Solid connection on that one. Commander. Hmm. No, let's go for this side. Hopefully we get the leg on this. Arm and torso is good too. If it goes to the leg, he's done. Okay, that's that problem solved. Uh, I want this guy totally to fight me, not uh, go around the corner there. So if this works out, I think I should get both Pylon and Recoil on that uh, Stormcrow here. And then the Jager mech will go after this, or sorry, our Zeus will go after their Jager mech. Good to go. So let's see what we can do here, Pylon. Um, this guy's damaged on his right side. Let's come for a back attack on him. Acknowledged. Hope for a knockdown. Nice hit. Or just killing him works too. Tango down. Yeah. And everyone's saying, yeah, you should have just did that before. I probably should have. Just attack this guy straight out. Whoa. Come on. Knock him down. Or kill him. That works too. <laughs> there it is, folks. Okay, we took some losses in this one. This definitely is going to probably not cover what it's going to take to fix what we lost. That's okay, though, um, because what we lost is my fault. It's not like they were better than me. It's just that I made the mistake of not moving, and I should have. Um, 
make sure I gotta apologize to Hickory. She's gonna be in Med Bay for a while, so I'll make sure she gets a VIP suite after this. But uh, yeah, overall, we did really well. Um, our two melee mechs, once again, performing really well against the clans. I'm kind of glad I swapped swapped out the uh, Phoenix Hawk for the Shadow Hawk in this lance. Uh, it definitely was needed. The Zeus, the heavy armor is really paying off now, having that big guy in the front lines. Um, he's taking a lot of hits, but he's also lasting a long period of time too, so that's working out. Once again, if anybody knows exactly what this cockpit does, I've seen it give breaching shot, um, avoid injuries, things like that, so I want to know exactly what it's giving me. I can't find online anywhere exactly what it does, but if anybody knows, please let me know. Okay, so we've got lots of fire starter parts, Jaeger mech parts. Can't complete any mechs, unfortunately, which means we can't take any parts. Which is kind of sad, but there's a lot of clan internal stuff too that we could take. Ultra 5 clan, that's kind of nice. 45 times 2 damage for 7 tons. Um, what else we got? Clan case, clan cockpits, clan endo steel. Ex oh my god, clan exchanger. Can't say no to that. Um, what else do we got? Heat sinks. Oh, TTS double plus energy. We could build an energy build mech too. Like if we take, we could take a few, like one more clan ER medium. Or sorry, I thought there was a, uh, Clan heavy here, but there isn't. Doesn't look like. Oh yeah, heavy medium laser. We could take these guys, but I think um, even the clan ER large is at 60 damage for 35 heat. It's only four tons too, right? Like that's huge as well, right? But even more of these guys. I think we do have a couple of extras. The Ultra 5, though, that's so nice for 7 tons. Uh, God, it's so hard to choose now. Ten percent increase in range with energy weapons. Increased critical chance, plus one accuracy, minimum range with energy weapons. So we could use it for PPCs even. Large Pulse is kind of nice because it hits a lot, but at 6 tons for 40 heat, at 26 times 3, it's not really... It's like a splash damage weapon. It's like having medium lasers, right? Maybe the Clan ER Large? Maybe two of them. Because with this Exchanger... We could put two of these in. Well, we got to rebuild the, uh, yeah, we got to rebuild Hickory's mech, so that's a great possibility as a replacement for the uh, Artemis systems, but we got such a good chance to hit with those too, right? Well, I'm going to go this way. Got to decide. So two Farsighter pieces, Kentaro piece, two Novacat pieces, nice. Hey, we got the uh, Gauss rifle too. That's not bad. Uh, clan medium heavy, excellent. Clan case, awesome. Double heat sink and a lower arm. So we made out really well, 24 million C-bills, so. And we're back, yeah, I knew, it, they, I knew it was gonna be a lot. But that's okay, I mean, for what we got out of it, it was totally worth it. Um, Bushwhacker's gonna be gone for a long time, so let's pull that down below. Um, Let's have a, uh, we gotta wait till that's back anyway, so not much we can do with refitting that. But we do have a couple of other lighter missions we can take on this planet. Let's have a look at the contracts here. So I don't feel too bad now about this hard contract, or hard contact with the two uh, lances of uh, Fire Mandrill uh, mechs. We just took on two lances um, at the same, but depending on where these guys are set up, it's a Highland battle, so... Uh, if they're all in the same area, we're fighting all of them at one time, it might be too hard. 
So we might take this one, but the, I think these two uh, missions here we'll do in our, with our Light Lance next episode and knock these off real fast. Um, we'll probably go half and half, make some cash in the uh, process or some C bills in the process and um, yeah, get those done. And then after that, we'll go after uh, the hard contract decapitation here, assassinate in the Highlands. Um, actually, no, we could probably do this next episode too. See what we can get out of this one. But I mean, I was just thinking because it's only how many days? Eight days to the end of the month. I think if we take those two lower contracts, we can get them both knocked off before the financial report. And then after that, we can knock off those other two, the Fire Mandra ones and the other ep the other uh, assassinate mission right after that. So let's plan to do that. Um, so if you like the episode, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And yeah, until next time, we'll see everybody later.